Good afternoon. It's again time for our daily uh, two-minute Bible reading and thought. I'm going to read from the uh, 39th uh, chapter of, uh, of Genesis. And I'm going to read uh, verses 1 through 4. Now Joseph was taken down into Egypt, and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, the captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him from the Ishmaelites, who had brought Joseph down there. The Lord was with Joseph, and he became a successful man. He was in the house of his Egyptian master, and his master saw that the Lord was with him, and that the Lord caused all that he did to prosper in his hands. So Joseph found favor in his sight and attended him. He made him overseer of his house and put him in charge of all that he had. May the Lord add a blessing to the word. Joseph, if you remember, we know he, we, we remember him so much for the coat of many colors that his father had, had uh, made for him. And he was the favorite son. And that caused the other brothers to hate him, hate him so much they sold him into slavery, sold him to the Ishmaelites who took him down into Egypt. Yeah, it must have been a real blow, isn't it, to find yourself sold into slavery by your own family? You know, it must have been a really low point. But he, he prospered after he got down there. And the next thing he knew, he was, he was you know, a right-hand man of a very important person. Life was looking good. And what happens? He was wrongly accused of a crime, and he was tossed into prison. And when he sat in the prison, he must be thinking, wow, just when you think it's getting good, everything falls apart. I don't know about you, but I've thought about, uh, felt like that many times find yourself in that place that you go, oh man, this is the last place in the world I want to be. But then something good comes out of it. It's amazing how many times that will happen. And, and really that's what the story of Joseph is all about. Not only does something good come out of it, but through that whole experience of everything that happened to him, he was able to save the whole nation of Israel from a famine because God stayed with him and because Joseph stayed with God. I, I don't know what you're going through. Um, many of us have ups and downs and mood swings and life looks good and then life doesn't look so much good. But the one thing is true. We stay true to God. God will always stay true to us even when we don't stay true. But we find special blessings, special blessings when we keep our trust and our faith in God. So wherever we find ourselves today, let's just remember this door is going to swing open somewhere and we're going to walk through and it's going to be something that is glorious for us, something that we find joy. May God bless us today as we continue to walk with our master. Amen.